In response to a question on the Talk Tennis Forum, I'm going to try to show the accuracy of the SW1 with uh, addition of small weights. So I've got the SW1 here with the calibration rod and the, the mass is off. Uh, so this one is, is calibrated at 145.1 kilogram centimeters squared. Uh, and then I've got a, a scale, a calibration weight, and a, a ball of blue tack that's one gram. Uh, so start out, I'm gonna calibrate the scale. I'm not sure if this will show up, but it's going through the, the calibration procedure here. Oh. Add the 500 gram calibration weight and then measure the ball so that's exactly 1.00 grams on this scale I'll pull the camera off the tripod I doubt you can see it so there one gram So to start with here, I will measure just the, the calibration rod and kind of like I talk about in the guide when it's been sitting for a while, it's best to let it oscillate a few times before measuring. So this measure just just below, I did turn on an extra a digit of precision on the display. You can set that in the settings. Look like that measured exactly the same. That would measure just slightly higher. And we'll do a fifth measurement. So basically I've got a, a mean of 145.06. So now if I take this uh, one gram ball of blue tack, I've got the, the, the calibration rod, which I've previously measured precisely, and that's uh, 56.04 centimeters. So looking at this, so it's, it's 56.04 centimeters minus the 10 centimeters to the, you know, from the the butt to the pivot point. So that's 46.04. And then to figure out the swing weight of one gram, that's 0 0.001 kilograms, which is one gram, times that 46.04 centimeters squared. And that's 2.12 kilograms centimeters squared. So when I add that one gram to the end of it, uh, I should see a difference of about 2.12 on the measurements. So I'll take this ball and, and try to, I guess I'm trying to center the, the ball on the, the edge of the, the calibration rod here. Now if I add a, a measurement group Measure that. Oh, yeah, they hit the measure button. So on the first measurement, it was 2.14 difference, but I'll do five again here.
kind of hit that cradle with my finger there, so that may have affected that reading. So you can see it uh, put that one in red and said that was a potential outlier. I know that hit my finger, so I'm going to delete it. And then add, add another measurement. All right, so now I've got five measurements and it's showing a difference here. Let's focus hopefully there. Showing a difference of 2.16 versus a, a theoretical difference of 2.12 kilogram centimeter squared. So that's pretty close. Uh, now I was, I was going to put it at a, a different spot just to, to see the difference there. So I've got a caliper set up. I had it. I thought it was locked, but anyway, at 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters. And I'm going to move the ball to that point. So I'm going to just take that against the butt and try to get that. Lined up there. And so this is the, the second one down here. So that's you know 30 centimeters minus the 10 is 20. And one gram or 0 0.001 kilograms times 20 centimeters squared is a difference of 0 0.40 kilograms centimeters squared. Now I measure this. Oh, forgot to hit the measure button again. And I'll do five measurements of this. And that's, this is the result. Let, me let it focus here. Um, so you can see, you know, the, the bare pipe was at 145.06. And then with that one gram at, at 30 centimeters, it's 145.49. So that's a difference of 0.43. Uh, so versus that theoretical of 0 0.40. So again, pretty close. All right, hopefully that uh, answers that question. Thanks for watching.